Today was a good day to be a tennis fan because we had the privilege to watch two back-to-back -back matches that were insane level-wise. And if you ever wonder what type of tennis I enjoy watching the most, then look no further than today's semi-finals in Beijing. First one being the match between Sasha Zverev and Daniel Medvedev, and in my opinion, this match showed how tennis should be played. Both were aggressive, but that aggression was calculated. It wasn't like they were going big on their ground strokes just for the sake of it, they were always smart about it as they patiently waited for that little opening that they could possibly take advantage of. We all know that Daniil's defense can be unbelievable, but today it was even better than unbelievable if that's even possible. This man was virtually unpassable today. Without looking at the stats of the game, it legit felt like Medvedev made two unforced errors max during the encounter. But the craziest thing is that Zverev wasn't even bad today, he wasn't even just good, he was great but what can you do when you play against an opponent who is playing flawless tennis? Imagine receiving a return like this at 4-5-15 all in the first set or getting hit with a passing shot like this on set point. There is no way that you can think to yourself at that moment in time that you can still win this match because witnessing such greatness across the net must feel demoralizing. And that is exactly how Daniel booked his place in the final in Beijing where he will play another guy who played lights out out tennis today and it's Yannick Sinner, who, and I'm not afraid to say it, is convincingly beat Carlos Alcaraz 7-6, 6-1. And honestly, after seeing Carlos go up 2 love at the start of the match and considering Yannick's fitness struggles, I thought that this match will be lopsided in Carlos's favor. But then Sinner said, nah, -ah, not so fast and started producing tennis that only his ideal version can. And by doing that, he turned the whole match upside down, he didn't let Carlos breathe at all, fearless offense from the Italian clearly made Alcaraz feel uncomfortable. Sinner brought his game to Alcaraz and not the other way around, Sinner was the one who dictated the play on court and Sinner was the one who advanced to the finals. In a rivalry in which on paper there is a clear cut better player, that being Carlos Alcaraz, that level difference vanishes when they battle on court because the underdog always steps up to the challenge and it seems like nobody should be surprised by that. With this win, Yannick Sinner now leads their head-to-head -head with 4 wins to Carlos's 3. Unfortunately for him, in the final he will have to face his nightmare opponent, Daniel Medvedev, against whom he has never celebrated a victory, but tomorrow might be the day when it changes. As a neutral fan, I just hope that the fantastic level of today's matches will be on display in the final, but who are you rooting for tomorrow? Comment your picks down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, take it easy, my friend.